So quick weather update, still chucking it down. And we are absolutely knackered after last night's bad sleep, so we've just pulled over. Jay's knocking up some lunch. We're gonna have this, and then I think we're gonna have a nap, aren't we? Absolutely, I'm ready for it. We're James and Sarah, also known as the whole world or nothing. After six years traveling the world, we traded in our backpacks, bought this old panel van, and spent five months transforming her into Cassie, our dream home on wheels. Make sure you've subscribed so you can join in the adventures as we hit the road and make the switch to full-time van life. Well, we've had lunch. We had a nap to catch up on the poor sleep that we had last night. And the place where we stopped is actually, uh, what's it called, National Trust? Yeah, something like that. National Trust site, I think it is. And it's got a walk and it turns out that there's a waterfall as well. So we're just gonna quickly head there because It's nothing... finally stopped raining. It has, <laughs> and uh, yeah. See what we find. So quite a short walk, but worth it? Yeah, definitely worth it. This waterfall is lovely, and there's a bit just there, I don't know if you can see it properly, but if you're into your wild swimming, which we're not, because it's too cold in this country, would be really nice. Like I can see the appeal, just not when you get in. <laughs> this one looks all right then? Looks lovely, yeah, looks great. That's the road just there, so we're up off that. And that is the view. Some cows down there and sheep, lovely. And most importantly, some blue skies. So hopefully that's the rain done. Okay, we're going really simple tonight with a jacket potato, baked beans and cheese but i did make the baked beans myself so they look all right no they look really nice i'm excited um, fancy baked beans i do have a question though because this is how i cut up my jacket potato this is how sarah does hers it's some kind of crazy cross and she's always telling me that hers is the better way of doing it so i want like a final decision if you can let us know <laughs> down in the comments which way you cut your jacket potato. Do you cut it in half? Do you cut it into some strange medium quarters <laughs> like Sarah and then just chuck all the stuff on top? Um, let us know. Another part of this argument <laughs> is whether you put the cheese on top first or the beans on top first. Now my personal opinion is that the beans go on and then the cheese goes on. You are on. so wrong about that man. No. No because your cheese has to go on and then the beans go on top because then the beans melt the cheese. No. Otherwise your cheese isn't melted. The cheese melts on top of the beans no. if they're hot enough. You just don't make hot enough beans. <laughs> After that profound debate, I went and picked up the litter around our park up while contemplating why anyone in their right mind would put the beans on top of the cheese. So that park up was lovely. Yeah, it was stunning. Really quiet as well. So we just spent the morning getting some work done and now we are heading into Aberystwyth. So Saturday afternoon, really hot day. Hottest day of the year so far. <laughs> These are the perks of being in a big van though. You can find, well you can't find anywhere to park. I was just going to say, what are you on about? <laughs> Sarcasm. Oh <Hey>, right. <laughs> we did just find a spot and it was big enough but not big enough to manoeuvre into like we'd have had to like actually like pick the van up and like slide into it sideways anyway we're looking so we managed to find somewhere to park after a little while <laughs> searching um and yeah we're in Aberystwyth so we just had some fish and chips before on one of the piers and now we've just come up cliff railway onto constitution hill to check out this amazing view behind us opened more than 125 years ago and incredibly still going strong cliff railway is a funicular which takes you up to Aberystwyth's best viewpoint which overlooks the whole city surrounding coastline and beyond Aberystwyth itself is a really cool city, full of history, and one that we'd have loved to have spent more time exploring. We'll be back.
This is tonight's park up. It's not really that great a view, but it's nice and level and away off the road. The view will be better in a bit as well when Jay's finished doing his litter picking up. So yeah, that's us for the night. But really randomly, of course in the bush here. I don't know if you can see it. A chicken. Why is it there? What is it doing? Wow, that's tons! Yeah, there's a load. Pretty bad here. Really bad, in fact. I know that Sarah has already shown you this chicken, <laughs> but I, I just can't get over this. There's a chicken living in a lay-by, right? <laughs> and I'm just watching this thing out the window and I'm thinking to myself, is it the chicken that's dropping all this litter, chucking all its Budweiser cans around <laughs> and stuff like that? If you go out in the morning and there's a load more litter, you'll know it's done. I will know. I will get that chicken. But seriously, there is a chicken just living out there. We just stopped off in a lovely town called Cardigan. Funny name, but a beautiful place, right? <laughs> yeah, it's really, really pretty. It's kind of really quaint. Lots of little old buildings, and it's kind of got an independent feel as well. You know, like lo loads of cafes and restaurants and stuff like that. But now we're on our way to the main activity of the day, which isn't really an activity, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're going to the beach. Well that was a lovely few hours at the beach, done some reading, had a nap, all nice and relaxed now. So we're off to find a car parking space for the night. You did used to be able to stay here in this car park right near the beach but obviously they've changed that and now you can't so yeah we're heading further down the coast, hopefully find somewhere down there. Right we were just heading to a usual park up tonight but as we were driving along we could smell something and we were, we were hoping we were going to get a couple more days out of it because we don't need any water, we don't need to up to the grey tank but we've got to go up to the toilet haven't we? Yeah it's bad. <laughs> it it's pretty bad. This is the problem with having the type of toilet that we have, it's not a composting one, it's just a normal like porta potty and um, they're kind of renowned for it. You get, I don't know, most people get sort of three or four days use out of them I think um, before you have to empty it, we try and push it a little bit more, as much, you know, as far as we can, really. But there comes a point, doesn't there? You know, <laughs> you can smell it in the front of the van, and that is not good. So yeah, we're just um, we're just looking for a cab site that we can hop onto for today. Yeah, I think I found one. Okay. So this is an okay one then? This is nice, really nice. That view is incredible. Check this out. Wow! Toilet's emptied and dinner's on. I'm going to have a shower later, so that'll be lovely. <laughs> then we can uh, fill the water up before we go. How exciting. It is really quite exciting actually, because I'm covered in sun cream, so you know. <laughs> The next morning we were up and at it early doors and we made our way to St David's, a place famous for two things, its glorious cathedral and being the smallest city by population in the UK with just 1,600 residents. While it's lovely, we didn't find a great deal to do there so we moved on for what we thought would be an exciting afternoon. So we just drove all the way down to this little nib right at the end of the Pembrokeshire coast. We thought we might be able to get on a boat trip to see some puffins. Turns out no. We just spoke to someone and they said yeah it's really popular. We booked in <laughs> April. It is now mid-June. <laughs> so we two never, months in advance. <laughs> we never plan anything that far in advance. No. <laughs> so. 
plus like no puffins for us. No puffin trip, that is a real shame. And he also said it's really good. Yeah. So even more of a shame. Yeah. Maybe we can find another one there. Yeah, we'll have a look. Okay, so we're not going on a trip to Skomer Island today. The guy that we spoke to was absolutely correct. There's absolutely no trips for probably about a month, I think. Yeah. So you have to book way far in advance, something that we just didn't know. Disappointing, we're not gonna see any puffins, but we decided that as we're here, we may as well take a walk around because there's a few walks that you can do around the end of the peninsula. And um, we were just stood here admiring the views. You can see Skomer Island in the background there behind us. And we've just seen this, this thing that's kind of covering all the greenery around. And at first we thought it was a giant spider's web because it's kind of covering like loads of square meters. But um, when we looked at it closer, it doesn't look anything like a spider's web. So if you know what that is, we're really interested to find out. So let us know down in the comments below. All right, this is tonight's park up. Just a little car parking space off the side of the road. Some toilets if we need it, which we don't. Looks all right, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It's not the sexiest, but it's functional, you know. It's quite and flat. It's flat. There's a couple of picnic tables. Um, not that we need them either. <laughs> but most importantly, there's no sign saying that we can't park here. Yes. Not that we've seen anyway. We no. will do another quick check. No, we won't go looking for them. <laughs> Okay, we've gone Caribbean tonight. You excited? I'm really excited about this. I'm so hungry as well. <laughs> it smells amazing. We've not had Caribbean food like this for so long. I know, I've been craving it for a little while actually. Um, just to explain what this is, so that is a bake, this thing here. That is plantain, that is yam, and this is just a concoction of, what is it, sardines? Sardines, tomato. Yeah, that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Tuck in. We just parked up at the beach and we are in with a bit of luck today. We are, the machine's not working. So we don't have to pay, it's free. Yes, get in. <laughs> have some of that. had a lovely couple of hours on the beach and now we're heading further around the coastline onto Gower Peninsula and hopefully going to find somewhere near there that we can park up for the night that's near another beach. So we managed to find, at long last, didn't even think they existed anymore, a 24 hour car park that doesn't say you're not allowed to stay overnight. Well, we've not found the signs yet. I have looked, I've looked around, you know, a couple of signs and yeah, it doesn't say it. So I think we're good to go. Excited, we're mm. right on the beach as well. It is a beautiful spot, yes. I think the difference is that it's a private car park and not a council car park. Yeah, so probably. They'll probably pop up at some point, will the signs. Oh, definitely, yeah. But Give it a week or two. <laughs> right At least, now. If they wait until we're left, I'll be happy. <laughs> exactly. We're ahead of the curve. Yeah. <laughs> Good shoes. Bench. View. Beach. We weren't necessarily even planning on coming to Swansea. No. It was recommended by a couple of people and we've been here for about five minutes. We absolutely love it. There's it's palm trees. Can you believe that? <laughs> it's so lovely. We're just walking down the beachfront along the promenade and it's just, yeah, it's just really, really nice. Like this is not what I had in my head of what Swansea looked like at absolutely all. Absolutely not, no. As we were walking along the front there, Jay had the amazing idea to get an Indian takeaway. But we can save some money because we can cook our own rice and we've got some naan breads. So we just got the curry part and then we're going to sit out on the front and eat that. This is alright then, isn't it? Can't beat it. <laughs> Check out the view. Curry with a view. 
so nice. Good morning. Morning. Last night was interesting. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I got a really good night's sleep, but Sarah was kept awake by a gang of youths, <laughs> unruly youths, <laughs> outside, sat on the benches where we are right now. Um, I don't think it was too late though, was it? No, it didn't last that long. It was, I think it was about midnight or something. They were yeah. there about an hour or something. I it's mean, kind of to be expected, isn't it? I was just going to say that like, there's pubs and bars down there and stuff and like, it's, it's in the middle of a city, do you know what I mean? So it wasn't it wasn't really annoying. I kind of half <laughs> expected it anyway. <laughs> so this morning we've woken up to exactly the same view. A little less sunny, but it's still really lovely. And we've decided we're going to have our breakfast outside. So we've just grabbed some Welsh cakes, um, got some coffees. And yeah, we're just going to sit and enjoy that for a while. We've been working all day today. Said it was going to rain, so <laughs> we thought we'd work. Turns out it hasn't rained at all. One it's of the been... hottest days of the year. <laughs> That's what it felt like in here, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We've been recording audio, so we had to keep closing the windows and turning the fan off, so it's been absolutely sweltering. <laughs> yeah, but we got it done, finished, video is ready, yeah. and um, we've got another spot that we're going to head to soon. Alright, doesn't it? Views. One <laughs> word, views. Absolutely incredible. Just all over the valley, you can just see farms, trees, greenery. This is what I pictured when I imagined Wales before we came, you know. Um, not the kind of beaches and all that kind of stuff that we've seen already. So this is, yeah, I feel this is real Wales, yeah? <laughs> Tonight we are feasting on arepas, Venezuelan arepas. This one's called a domino, I think. Beans, black beans and cheese. You excited? I'm really excited. We've not had these for ages. No. That park up that we stayed at last night was beautiful. It was so nice, wasn't it? It was. So the, peaceful. The roads around there, uh, twisting and winding up and down the hills and there's switchbacks and all kinds of um, little, I don't know, different roads that go off in different directions <laughs> as well. Um, little tracks, that's what I was trying to get at. Um, so there's quite a lot of people, sort of motorists, I think, that go up there just for the roads, but the scenery is absolutely stunning. Um, other than the motorists, it was pretty quiet. Yeah, just a few people thinking they were on Fast and Furious. <laughs> well, Top Gear. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was a it was a peaceful night. Woke up this morning with the sound of sheep eating the grass outside. <laughs> they were literally just outside the van, and there were loads of horses and stuff like that surrounding us. So it was a really peaceful morning as well. Now we've just come to where are we? The Four Waterfalls Walk which is further into Brecon Beacons. So yeah, we're about to go on that walk, which I think it's about four hours. And Sarah's hiking in flip flop and socks. No, nice look. No, I'm just about to put my walking boots <laughs> on. Look, I'm not bothered. You can you can keep the flip sock combo going from my like Flip sock. Don't change into hiking boots on my account. No. <laughs> Obviously I'm not hiking in these, it's not going to be very comfortable is it? They're just my van shoes. We've reached waterfall number two. This one's a lot smaller but it's still really pretty. And we are going to sit down and have a snack and a little drink, recuperate, because the next one is meant to be something like 180 steps. Yeah. Is that right? It's <laughs> a lot of steps, so it might be a bit more difficult than this one. <laughs> Located within so-called waterfall country in the Brecon Beacons, this Four Falls walk takes in, predictably, four of the most eye-catching waterfalls in the area. Wow, 
Whilst it's called the Four Waterfalls Walk, there are dozens of little waterfalls along the way and some of the most interesting and unique scenery we've seen. The final fall is the one that you can actually walk behind. Well, we've seen all four waterfalls now. Yay! <laughs> we found them. All of them absolutely stunning in their own way. All of them completely different as well. We are just on the walk back now. It's kind of uh, 45, 55 minutes, I think it said. Uphill. It's all uphill. <laughs> so it's a proper schlep. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're taking regular breaks. The sun's come out as well. It's meant to be raining today. I know, so nice. Isn't yeah, it? stunning. Um, so hopefully it shouldn't be too long before we actually get back to the van. And then we've got something in store for later on tonight. So not bad at all when you can get back from hiking, all hot and sweaty, and get into a nice shower, no? You talking to me? <laughs> yeah! It's lovely. <laughs> we have arrived at the pub. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. And yeah, it's actually... Um, well, there was a bit of a hairy moment. The sat nav took us on a route where it went on like a really tight bend up a really steep hill and the van was in second but it stalled and then the handbrake wouldn't hold it and we were rolling backwards but we just couldn't get enough going to like continue up the hill so we had to reverse all the way back down the hill then onto the other road to go a different way but it's a little bit scary wasn't it and I wasn't was. even driving. <laughs> The handbrake was burning, or something was burning. Oh. Uh, I thought that the axle had just broken <laughs> because, because of how the engine conked out. So yeah, that was interesting, but we got here, we're here. We're here. We're in one piece. Yep. And they've said that we can stay. Yeah, Bonus. so we can enjoy a night in the pub, have a meal, have a couple of drinks, and yeah, we can just sleep here. Have I told you you look nice tonight? No, thank Absolutely you. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> Look at that. High heels and everything. Ta-da! <laughs> so sad that I can't have a beer. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> it looks so nice as well. It is very nice. I'm not going to lie. This is a really good beer. <laughs> um, but yeah, our surprise for tonight is we have stopped off in a pub. I don't think we've said that already, have we? I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> I've had too many bites. <laughs> And we're going to grab some food and um, they've allowed us to stay. I did say that, didn't I? Yeah, you have already said yes. that. So I thought we were supposed to be walking up this mountain, not driving up it. <laughs> I actually think we might be on top. <laughs> this is ridiculous. The roads are so small, this one's actually not that bad. Your destination is on the right. But. It's just been crazy, I haven't filmed any of it because I've just been too nervous. Today we're doing a big one. Are we? Well, we're taking on Sugarloaf. <laughs> it's almost a mountain. Yeah, it's four metres short of a mountain. That's embarrassing for you, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Sugarloaf in Wales, obviously, not in Brazil. We're still in Wales. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't look like Brazil. <laughs> so yeah, we're climbing up to the summit of Sugarloaf Mountain and back. You ready? Yep. Let's go. Just to explain that, apparently the classification for a mountain is that it has to be 600 meters high. I'm assuming that's above sea level. Yeah. Don't really know. And this is 596 meters, which is probably heartbreaking for it because <laughs> so close and yet so far. But it also means that this should be a straightforward up and down rather than anything else. <laughs> like the road here, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, that walk was fun, right? It was really fun, yeah. Felt a massive sense of achievement getting to the top. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. It wasn't that challenging, really. It was kind of an hour up and an hour down, but it was a bit of a scramble towards the top, wasn't it? it was yeah. A bit more, a bit steeper. Yeah. But yeah, it was a good fun. Um, we just got back to the van, knocked up a bit of salad for lunch, and then we are. We need to find a campsite for tonight. Yeah, we do. I've just been searching. I found a couple nearby, so. But nothing else bans the day, right? No, not really. Not today. Cool. Unfortunately, this campsite hasn't got a drive over grey water disposal, so Joe's got to go back and forth <laughs> to empty the, <laughs> the grey water tank. Um, we don't carry a hose for our grey water tank, just one for our fresh water. So, yeah, it's a bit of a pain, but it doesn't take that long. So, chores done? Chores done. Didn't take too long, did it? No, uh, it's, it's not bad once you get going. And I like doing it all at once as well. Yeah. You know, getting the toilet done, getting the grey water out. Just half an hour and you're completely refreshed, ready to go again. At the end of the road to this campsite, we passed a pub. But not just an ordinary pub. Outside it said a Jamaican and Welsh pub, which is really exciting. You don't get kind of Caribbean food all over uh, Wales, as far as I can tell, because I have been looking out for it and haven't found any. So we're gonna mosey on down there right now. Probably gonna grab a pint and then see if the food is actually on. We don't know anything about this pub, so we don't know. And yeah, just check it out. So some sad news at the pub was that all the tables were booked up for food so we couldn't eat. Pretty devastating, yeah. The menu looked good as well, didn't it? It looked great, yeah. It was Jam Welsh, they called it, Jamaican slash Welsh cuisine. Uh, I can only know. imagine, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Luckily we had a couple of beers though, didn't we? There's space outside. Yeah. And Jay is now cooking us up our own Caribbean curry, so, you know. All good. Well, this is bloody incredible. And it's still warm enough that we've got the door open. What a lovely evening. Mm. The next day, we made our way to the final destination on our Wales trip the charming, picturesque market town of Hay on Wye. Straddling the border between England and Wales, it boasts somewhere in the region of 30 bookshops, despite being absolutely tiny. We bought some local produce and of course picked up a few books before heading back over the border. Well, that's it for this week, friends. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and give us your verdict on the jacket potato sitch down below in the comments too. Next time, we're going to be searching out some of the most scenic views in Scotland. Catch you then.